one here. One ale over here, please. God be with you. Are there any charcoal burners around here? Mostly just woodcutters. A beggarly lot they are too. Always wanting to buy now and pay later. Having a pot to piss in until they make a sell. Then they act like they own the fucking place. Oh, no doubt they don't have an easy life. But I'm looking for charcoal burners, not woodcutters. They're even worse. The rabble, a lot of them. Are there any of them around here? Oh, once in a blue moon, one or two of them comes here from the north. I reckon they usually go to some closer tavern. They only come here when they're not welcome there. Where exactly are they camped? Oh, you know how it is with charcoal kilns. If there's a path in the woods near the water, they won't be far away. All right, thanks for the help. That's all? Are you going to have a drink? There, satisfied? Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm, fresh meat. No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. I could send a stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> ah. Of course. I'd pay you well for anything you bring me. Even more if it's something in particular I want. And if you help me out here and there, I'll teach you something useful in return. That's an interesting proposition. I'd like to learn to fight better with an axe. Are you pulling my pizzle? You want me to teach you after what you did here? Been a pleasure. Is there somewhere I could sleep here? Aye, there's room here. For how long? Just the one night? No problem. But you pay in advance. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Are we agreed? That's a poor offer. Agree? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. Where do I go to sleep? One ale over here, please. On the upper floor of the inn. There are steps up to it outside. Your chamber is the one in the middle. Sure. Very well.
Could do with a bite to eat. God. Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I don't know anyone called that. I'm not even from this part of the country. What a shame. We're worried about him, but we can't seem to find him. Truly. I haven't seen him. If I were you, I'd ask the charcoal burners. Oh, definitely. Thank you for your advice. Is something the matter? God be with you. Do you know where I could find Ginger? Who? The stable boy from Neuhof. I've heard he's friends with some charcoal burners. Ah, I know you mean. He went not long ago to the charcoal burners by Talmberg. And just follow the stream to the west. May the Lord watch over you. What are you Take it quick before I faint from the stink. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? 
I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. So where does he usually go if not here? You think we're the only charcoal burners in these woods? Probably not. But this is a big forest and I don't have time to look under every stone in it. And you don't need to look under every stone. All you have to do is follow the river and you might just run into another camp. If you're hiding him here, please reconsider. It's Sir Radzig who sent me to find him. That boy's testimony could help stop more bloodshed. I understand the urgency, lad. But really, he doesn't come here. He's friends with some of the boys over by Townburg. And where can I find them? Head west along the river and you'll run into them. Oh, and another thing you might like to know. Other people have been sniffing around here for him. Nasty fellas. Where did they go? What did they look like? Oh, they headed off to the west. But that doesn't mean anything. And they look... Well, one of them came here and asked a lot of questions. And the other one stood off at a distance, scowling, dressed like murderers, the pair of them. Been a pleasure. And stay out of sight. What will people think if they see me talking to a vagabond like you? I'm searching for a stable boy from Neuhof. They call him Ginger. I know him right enough. But I don't know where he is now. He's run away from the stud farm. I have to find him. Well, he's definitely not here. Try the other charcoal burners camp downstream. Maybe he's there. Farewell. Yeah. Jesus Christ be praised. Where's Ginger? I must speak with him. Who? There's no one of that name here. Then where did he go? Everyone told me I'd find him here. But he... I don't know anything at all about it. Good luck to you. And hurry up. I've no patience for beggars. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Do you know where I might find him? Well, if you go south from here, you'll come across Old Andrew's Inn on the road. 
If you go along the road from there to the east, you'll reach Neuhof. I know where Neuhof is. The boy isn't there. Ah, I see. I can't help you then. I've never noticed any one of that description around here. That's odd. The charcoal burners by the stream told me they know Ginger and that he comes to visit you. Horseshit! They probably just said that to get rid of you. Nobody likes a stranger sticking his nose into their business. It's the business of my liege lord. I'm here because of what happened at Neuhof, and that boy knows something about it. Let me talk to him. Hold your horses. First, prove you're with the garrison. How? You want me to bring the whole garrison here? If there's no other way. Because there's been two brutes asking after him too. And they look like they'd cut his throat without blinking. I dealt with that pair. I happened to run into them and, uh, well, it didn't end well for them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm, maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujitz until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Do you think that fellow is in with that? He could be, I suppose. So, what if he isn't? He really is one of them. Good day. I'm looking for Ginger. I've heard he's here. With us? Don't know why anyone would tell you that. I've never met him. They seem pretty certain. Well, they must have gotten mixed up. There's no one of that description here. Take care now. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!
Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And... Oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't. But they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand. <laughs>